Okay, so um, here are some general guidelines for writing um, essays that cite um, sources other than, you know, whatever's in your own head, right? Uh, so you'll remember that I told you that the midterm essay is not a research paper, but that you will all have at least, or you'll all have a work cited because you'll be citing at least um, two texts from our selected course readings. They're in the Norton Anthology, but the text that you cite is going to be like the specific one within that anthology. There is a very specialized format in MLA style for how you cite a work from an, an from an anthology. Um, if you have the writer's reference textbook that you may have used for 111 and 112, the MLA style section in there breaks that down and gives you examples and everything. If you don't have that textbook, owl.purdue.edu has very similar stuff. Uh, it's just laid out a little bit differently. Um, and you can kind of like see what the logic is behind it and also um, use the examples that they have as a guide for making sure that your pieces are in the right order and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what I would like to say is if you don't have a work cited page, and especially if you don't have one because you did not actually refer to any of the texts, that's a problem, okay? Uh, you can't have, it's rare in any academic setting to have absolutely no references to materials other than in your head. Sometimes in 111 that happens. Like I ask people to write, you know, like tell me why you came to college, right? And I'm getting a writing sample. So sometimes it happens. Um, but way most of the time in academic settings, you are going to be referencing someone else's work, even if it's just, you know, lecture notes. There's a way to cite those too. Um, in MLA style, in APA style, in Chicago style, like there are ways to cite that kind of material as well as stuff that has been written and published. And you should, um, not just because, you know, it's important for signaling attribution. It's not like I'm, I am not saying, and maybe I should foreground this, I'm not saying that any of the people who didn't include in-text citations are actively plagiarizing. Nobody's pretending to have written the Iliad, okay? It's obvious that you are indeed referring to stuff that's, like, not just up here. Um, there were some cases where I kind of think people must be drawing on either, no, like, lecture notes from another class, because, um, like, the concepts are psychology or their philosophy of religion or, the, you know, like, concepts that it's, maybe history, um, concepts that it seems like this sounds like they must have come from lecture notes. Sometimes I'm thinking, okay, they've read a, read a bunch of academic articles on related topics and they're drawing on that background of knowledge. There are places where I think people should probably have attributed that information or attributed that way of understanding texts, but not in a sense that it's like, I think folks are like intentionally and deliberately presenting as their own original idea stuff that they've encountered in classes. Um, sometimes if you're not really familiar with the literature in a particular uh, subject area, um, it's hard to know what's common knowledge and what isn't, right? Um, so what I would say about that is err on the side of citation. And if you aren't sure how to formally cite something, signal attribution, and most people in most contexts over the midterm essay, most people did signal attribution. Like people mentioned in the Iliad, it says blah, 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 blah. What I want you to do to take it to the next level is show me the page number and cite that source appropriately. If you didn't know that you should cite information or concepts that you're threading in from other classes, which by the way is a fine thing to do, okay? I don't object to your doing that at all. That's cool. As you thread those things in, signal attribution to the professor whose course it was and the semester when you took that class so that there's like you're creating um breadcrumbs for readers to see like how you're not just what the pieces are that you're pulling together but how you like what's original about your essays is the way that you're assembling um concepts from you know other texts that you have encountered and other areas of study and all this stuff it's really cool but you have to signal what's going on so that readers can see it on the page. Um, so, okay, if you have questions about like when to cite things, which is almost always, <laughs> but if you have questions about what kind, of, what kind of information demands a citation, let me know that and we'll talk about that question in greater detail or we'll talk about it with your specific situation or whatever. And then as far as how to cite, not just when to cite, but how to cite, 
The titles of long works, so like novels, epics, the anthology itself, like the big container thing that has all of these pieces in it. Um, I feel like there's some other example there, but the titles of long works get italics. Okay, so like the Iliad as an epic typically goes in italics when you're discussing it. Uh, the Epic of Gilgamesh. The, the titles of shorter works, so like the uh, lyric poems that we read um, or the, a chapter within the Toyn Bokuli or, um, gosh, there are other examples, song titles. The t titles of smaller works go in quotation marks, okay? So you're differentiating what kind of a thing it is by the way that you set off the title. Um, there's a list in the MLA style guide both the one that's in the Writer's Reference Spiral Bound book and the one that's on the Outlet Purdue and probably also the one that's on the MLA website. There's like a list of like how to, what things get cited, like blah, 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 blah. what things get italics, which things get quotation marks, and how you know. So um, look them up in whichever format, like the MLA site, the Purdue site, the Writer's Reference. And if you have questions about like how to deploy that on the page, let me know that.